Minister Narendra Modi interacted with various vaccine developers like the Genova Biopharma, Biological and Dr. Reddy's. Now, this comes after India's Prime Minister had visited three biotechnology firms that are developing vaccines and he did so in the cities of Ahmedabad, Pune and Hyderabad. So this was the Prime Minister taking stock of where the vaccines are in their developmental stage. The Prime Minister, of course, has been front and centre in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic and he's invested in getting a vaccine available for the people of India as soon as possible and hopefully also at a fairly and affordable price. AstraZeneca has said that its vaccine can be made available for a price of just three US dollars. That's just 225 odd rupees. Will the vaccine be available for the people of India at that price? Or will it come down even more? Or will it, of course, be much higher? Because at this point of time, remember, there's a huge bit of a controversy over the price of testing for COVID-19 infection in government centers. The testing kits are available for free. So if people have symptoms, they can go into a government center and get tested for free. But if they are getting themselves tested in private clinics, then the cost of a single test could be as high as 2,500 rupees per individual. And a person, once he tests positive, needs to take at least another test to see if he has turned, if he or she has turned negative. So it's said to be a very expensive affair, the testing for coronavirus infections. But now the vaccine, remember, this of course is being talked about around the world. The United States has said that on the 10th and the 11th of December, the FDA will have a meeting and they will be looking at whether the vaccines being developed by Moderna and Pfizer can in fact be given the green signal so that vaccines can be rolled out by the 15th of December onwards. That is how far advanced things are in the United States, which is one of the worst affected nations in the world. India has the second highest number of infections. And at this point of time, we're looking at the first quarter of 2021. Very tentatively is the possible time when we could have a vaccine that could be rolled out. And India is looking at a whole different gamut of possibilities. Now we're looking at vaccines such as the Russian Sputnik V. We're also looking at the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine that could become available. Remember, the Serum Institute of India is the one that is producing it. And then there are also the homegrown options that India also has. India is one of the biggest pharma producers in the world. Anyone in the world who's had a vaccine shot given to him or her would have had a vaccine shot manufactured in India given to him or her at a point of time. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi has of course asked different companies to come out with their suggestions and with their ideas regarding the regulatory processes and the related matters. He's also suggested that they should take some extra efforts to inform the general public in simple language about vaccines and other related matters and their efficacy. At this point of time, many of these vaccines companies claim that they have an efficacy of 90%, 95% in generating an antibody response once these vaccines are administered. But what will happen when the vaccine is rolled out for a large population? That, of course, still remains a very big question. Remember, the COVID-19 pandemic is not over. We are now entering into the winter season. The second wave of COVID-19 will, of course, take a pretty heavy toll around the world.